welcome back to Deb's Kitchen. Some of you are wondering where I've been. It's been about a year since we last posted in September and I'm here just to give you a live channel update on what's been going on since you last saw me here live. It's been a journey to be sure and I just want to let you know where I've been all this time because I've been getting a lot of comments. I still read them that everybody's asking, Deb, where are you? And we're getting a lot of new subscribers, so I just want to give you a little history. Um, I, if those of you that have been following me on my Facebook page know that in December of 21, I posted that my husband and I both contracted COVID. Unfortunately, on January 4th, my husband was admitted to the hospital with multi-organ failure. It was secondary to his COVID. And it was a long journey, a year almost, and we brought him home on hospice in December of 22. And he subsequently passed away on January of 2023. 20, and it's been hard because my husband, as you will see, my kitchen, those of you that have been with me since the very beginning saw that we started out in my old, this is my home my husband built for me and our kitchen. He designed this home and it was old and he remodeled it. And he was in the process of doing that before he became ill. And I want to thank all of you that follow me on Facebook for all your prayers, all your good wishes, sending good vibes, because this has really what got us through this journey. So what I really want to do here today is just thank everybody for your outpouring of love and support. I really felt it during this season of loss and it's just been a long road to this point. And you didn't see me on here, I was still cooking in my kitchen, believe me, for those of you that follow me on my Facebook group in Deb's Kitchen, you see that I cook a lot because that's a therapy for me, an outlet. And my husband was my greatest fan. I loved cooking for my husband and he was always bragging about me and uh, always having me cook for potlucks for his, he was a very man of all the community service. He was a, I had to cook for the Cherry Festival Committee and I thank you by the way, the Cherry Festival Committee was key in support during this journey and all the clubs that reached out to us, our family during this season of loss. It's just been a tremendous outpouring of love from my family, from my church, from you, my Facebook followers, all your prayers, all the comments I read. That's what pulled our family through this long, sad transition. And I just want to say that I'm grateful. I'm really grateful for this, for this channel because it gives me something to express. To me, cooking is love and my expression of love. And I like sharing and the comments you make all the time encourage me, encourage me to keep moving forward because I know that's what my husband, my Diamond Joe, which is what we nicknamed him, would want for us. So thank you. The reason it's been a year that I've posted is because my days were taken up caring for my husband. As, as I mentioned to you, he had multiple organ failure. He had a cardiac arrest on January 4th of 22 and he suffered a brain injury and he was in long term, he was hospitalized through this whole time. And through this whole time, every day I would be at whatever hospital he happened to be in caring for him, praying, hoping that he could come home. And he, we did see improvements and ups and downs in his journey, but he was, he had to rely on dialysis. He was on a trach, a ventilator. 
and he was totally um, in need of 24-hour care. So when we decided in December to bring him home, it was on hospice because I knew that my husband would want to be home. When he was sick, he had a brand new grandbaby born and they had, she had, he had not met her yet. And so when he came home, it was so beautiful to see my grandbabies who all miss their papa who they love so dearly. And they all came into the room and I could see the look on his face that he recognized them. And the new baby, she was just our little baby. Dakota, we put her on his chest and she was just smiling away. And I know that he felt it because I could see the love. And though people, he was nonverbal, he was non-communicative. I could see in his eyes. He could still communicate with his eyes. And he knew when you came to see him. All my church family, all his friends from work, all the people that came to pray for him. And even sometimes when they would come in, he would mention he would actually try to say their name. So I know that my husband would understood and I am so grateful to God that he gave us this time to cherish with my husband and I know he would want me to go on with this channel because he remodeled this kitchen expressly for that purpose and he kept telling me you need to get cards made and he was my biggest promoter and I know that this is something he would want me to do so I am going to keep on cooking. You're going to see me back. I'm back now. And as you can see, I'm ready to cook. We finally have our functioning stove. As those of you that follow us know, it was a journey, a little journey in the south that we finally got our stove after several years of waiting for this custom stove. So I am egg burners ready to go and two ovens and believe me you are going to see a lot of cooking in Deb's kitchen. Stick around. And since I've been away so long I'm relying on your comments to give me ideas of what you want me to cook in Deb's kitchen. I am going to be featuring more instant pot recipes because some of you have requested more air fryer recipes and so I am excited to start up and get cooking in Deb's kitchen. Welcome to my new subscribers and for those of you that have been watching me and are new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share so we can get more followers in Deb's Kitchen. 